oceans are indeed a crucial source of food through fishing and aquaculture. With a growing global population and increasing demands for protein-rich diets, the significance of oceans in providing sustenance cannot be overstated. Oceans cover about 71% of our planet's surface and support a diverse array of marine life ranging from fish and shellfish to ocean weed and other aquatic organisms. This rich biodiversity forms the basis of our global seafood supply and plays a vital role in ensuring food security for millions of people worldwide. Fishing is one of the oldest and most traditional methods of harvesting food from the oceans. It involves capturing fish and other marine species using various techniques, including nets, lines, and traps. Commercial fishing operations employ modern technologies and practices to meet the growing demand for seafood. Fish such as tuna, cod, salmon, and sardines, among others, are harvested from the oceans and contribute significantly to global fish production. Aquaculture, also known as fish farming, has emerged as a key method to supplement wild-caught fish and meet the increasing demand for seafood. It involves the cultivation of fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and aquatic plants in controlled environments such as ponds, tanks, or ocean enclosures. By harnessing the natural productivity of oceans, aquaculture provides a sustainable and reliable source of fish and seafood. The importance of oceans as a food source extends beyond meeting nutritional needs. Fishing and aquaculture activities also contribute to economic development and employment opportunities in coastal communities. They support livelihoods for millions of people involved in fishing operations, processing, distribution, and related industries worldwide. The oceans play a vital role in the circulation and recycling of nutrients which is essential for maintaining the health of ecosystems and supporting marine life. Nutrient cycling refers to the movement and transformation of essential elements, such as carbon, phosphorus and others, within the ecosystem. These nutrients are essential for the growth and survival of marine organisms, from tiny phytoplankton to large marine mammals. The oceans act as a critical reservoir and a dynamic system that facilitates the circulation and recycling of these nutrients. One of the primary processes involved in nutrient cycling in the oceans is the biological pump. Phytoplankton, microscopic plant-like organisms, utilize sunlight, carbon dioxide, and nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus to carry out photosynthesis. Through this process, they convert inorganic substances into organic matter, producing oxygen as a byproduct. Phytoplankton form the foundation of the marine food web, serving as food for zooplankton and other organisms. As phytoplankton and other marine organisms grow and reproduce, they eventually die and sink to the ocean floor. This process, known as marine snow, transports organic matter and associated nutrients from the surface waters to deeper ocean layers. This organic material is then decomposed by bacteria and other organisms through a process called remineralization, releasing the nutrients back into the water column. Another important process in nutrient cycling is upwelling. Along certain coastlines, winds and ocean currents cause nutrient-rich, deep waters to rise to the surface. Upwelling brings cold, nutrient-rich waters to the sunlit regions, providing a boost of nutrients to support the growth of phytoplankton and fuel the productivity of coastal ecosystems. Upwelling zones are often characterized by abundant marine life, including fish populations that rely on these nutrient-rich waters. The ocean currents also play a crucial role in transporting nutrients across vast distances. Nutrient-rich waters from areas of upwelling can be carried by ocean currents to other regions. 
replenishing nutrient depleted areas and supporting the productivity of ecosystems in those regions. This interconnectedness of oceanic processes ensures a continuous supply of nutrients to different parts of the ocean, sustaining the health and productivity of marine ecosystems. However, pollution can disrupt nutrient cycling in the oceans. Excessive nutrient inputs from agricultural runoff or wastewater discharge can lead to harmful algal blooms and oxygen-depleted dead zones. These disruptions can have detrimental effects on marine ecosystems, leading to the decline of certain species and overall ecosystem degradation. Protecting the health of oceans and ensuring the proper functioning of nutrient cycling can help preserve the integrity of nutrient cycles and safeguard the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. wide and largely unexplored frontier, the oceans offer exciting opportunities for scientific research, discovery and innovation. Much of the ocean's depths remain unexplored. The vastness and complexity of the marine environment provide countless research opportunities across various disciplines, including marine biology, oceanography, geology, ecology, climate science and more. Home to an incredible diversity of marine species, many of which are yet to be discovered and studied, exploring and understanding marine biodiversity can provide insights into evolution, ecological interactions and the potential for new pharmaceutical compounds and biomaterials. Research in this field helps identify and conserve fragile ecosystems, promoting the sustainable management of marine resources. Oceanography encompasses the study of physical, chemical and geological processes in the oceans. Researchers can investigate ocean currents, temperature and salinity variations, nutrient cycling and the ocean's role in climate regulation. Understanding these processes is crucial for predicting climate change impacts, weather patterns and the functioning of marine ecosystems. Innovations in sensor technology, data collection and communication systems are advancing our understanding of the oceans and opening new avenues for research. The oceans harbor a wealth of potential medicinal compounds and ingredients that offer promising avenues for drug development. Marine organisms such as marine plants, algae, bacteria and invertebrates have proven to be a valuable source of novel bioactive compounds with diverse therapeutic properties. Marine biodiversity provides a vast array of unique chemical compounds that have the potential to treat a wide range of diseases and medical conditions. Researchers have discovered and isolated compounds from marine organisms that exhibit antimicrobial, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, antiviral and neuroprotective properties among others. These bioactive compounds offer new avenues for drug discovery and the development of innovative pharmaceuticals. For example, marine sponges have been a prolific source of bioactive compounds with potential anti-cancer activity. Some compounds derived from marine sponges have shown promising results in inhibiting the growth of cancer cells and preventing tumor progression. In addition, marine algae and bacteria have produced compounds that exhibit antiviral properties, providing potential leads for the development of antiviral drugs. One of the most famous examples of a pharmaceutical derived from the oceans is the drug Ziconotide. It is a synthetic version of a toxin found in the venom of a marine cone snail. Ziconotide is used as a pain medication for severe chronic pain and is particularly effective in cases where traditional pain medications are ineffective. 
Marine organisms also produce unique compounds that have the potential to combat antibiotic resistance, a growing global health concern. Researchers are exploring the potential of marine bacteria and microorganisms to discover new antibiotics or develop alternative therapies to combat drug-resistant pathogens. Exploring and studying marine organisms for potential medicinal compounds involve interdisciplinary research efforts that combine marine biology, chemistry, pharmacology, and biotechnology. Scientists employ techniques such as bioprospecting, genomics, and metabolomics to identify and isolate bioactive compounds from marine organisms and understand their mechanisms of action. Continued research and sustainable practices in this field hold the potential to unlock even more exciting possibilities in medicine and improve human health. Oceanic currents and circulation systems are dynamic processes that involve the movement of water, heat, and energy across the oceans. These processes have a profound influence on the transfer of heat and moisture between the ocean and the atmosphere, ultimately shaping weather patterns on a global scale. El Nino and La Nina are examples of oceanic phenomena that significantly impact weather patterns. El Nino occurs when warm waters in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean interact with the atmosphere, leading to changes in atmospheric pressure patterns and the redistribution of heat. This can result in a variety of weather anomalies worldwide, including altered rainfall patterns, increased frequency of storms, and shifts in temperature patterns. El Nino events are associated with droughts in some regions and increased rainfall in others, affecting ecosystems, agriculture, and water resources. Conversely, La Nina is the cooler phase of the El Nino Southern Oscillation ENSO cycle. During La Nina, colder than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern tropical Pacific influence atmospheric circulation patterns. This can lead to opposite effects from El Nino, such as increased rainfall in certain regions and more frequent and intense tropical cyclones. La Nina events can also contribute to the intensification of monsoon systems, affecting precipitation patterns and agricultural practices in affected areas. Understanding and monitoring ocean currents and circulation systems are crucial for predicting and managing weather patterns on a global scale. Through advanced technologies and observational networks, scientists can gather data to improve forecasting models and provide early warnings for extreme weather events associated with these oceanic phenomena. This knowledge aids in developing strategies for climate adaptation, disaster preparedness, and sustainable resource management. The vastness and beauty of the oceans have a profound impact on human creativity and serve as a constant source of inspiration. The ocean's awe-inspiring qualities influence art, literature, music, and various forms of human expression. The oceans reign supreme, their power and beauty shaping the very fabric of our existence. Guardians of our climate, keeper of Earth's balance, life's cradle, fueling more biodiversity and providing resources vital for our survival. Ripples, waves and crystal clear depths teeming with life. Let us answer the ocean's call, for it is our legacy and the very essence of our planet's majesty. <laughs>